storm. Because sometimes a storm is necessary to work. You know what happened? The Bible says here, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Fear. Fear is such a terrible thing. And God needed to work on the fear. You know why? Because fear is a lack of faith. Having fear is the same thing as lacking faith. So Jesus is in this boat in this storm, and he says, I'm going to work on them before I work on the storm. And when he goes to work on them, what he talks about is you of little faith. And then he speaks on the fear that they had. Why are you so afraid?
You see, those of you that don't know, my mom is a is a, a crazy, devout Christian woman that prays all night long. And she loves to talk about Jesus to everyone, wherever she goes. That's my mom. She's a follower of Jesus. In English and in Portuguese. In English and in Portuguese. She, she'll, she'll go in that English. She'll speak to someone in the, in the Walmart, in the shopping mall. She'll do what must be done to get the gospel out there. And what happens is, one day we went to Gatlinburg, I believe Tennessee, Gatlinburg. Yes, Tennessee. And as we're there, we're going to ski. It's a family trip to celebrate Christmas. Christmas Eve, we're getting ready to go watch a movie at the movie theaters. And as we're getting ready to go watch this movie, my mom begins to throw up. We thought nothing of it. My dad and her went to the hospital as me and my brother stayed in the hotel room. Patrick knows he was there. And suddenly, I receive a phone call from my father. My father on that phone call says they found two tumors inside of their mother. On Christmas Eve, on a family trip, it ruined our Christmas. To receive the news that my mom had two tumors inside of her. The tumors were already big. And that's when the storm came. Suddenly, out of nowhere, we were celebrating. We were there for Christmas. We were not expecting a storm. But the storm comes suddenly over your life. And my dad is struggling to tell us that she has two tumors inside. Okay, time went on. My mom started to feel worse and worse. Lots of us here know her. Lived through this moment with her. And her stomach started growing because the tumor started to grow as well. And the doctors got so worried they were going to have to cut her open all the way to try to perform a miracle. And they said, it's cancerous, but if we open her up and the cancer is spreading, there's nothing we can do. But my mom was a follower of Jesus. She is a follower of Jesus. And my mom would continuously say, I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what a man told me. I don't care what anyone says about my situation. We heard people in the city of Jacksonville saying that she was going to die. And the store is here. Because sometimes you don't know who's around you and who's listening. And you talk about people. And you will say things and people over here. And we heard these types of things. And my mom would always say, I don't believe in the doctor's word. I don't believe in what people say about me. I believe in what Jesus can do for me. You see, my mom followed Jesus right into that storm. She didn't follow a doctor. She didn't follow a man. Because when you follow someone that's not Jesus, when the suddenly comes, everything goes wrong. Don't you have the 
and then she came up front. And right here on the stage, I summarized all the battles that go along with cancer to get to, get to the point. But she's right here on the stage. And the, the preacher says, God is going to perform a surgery right now. A surgery in front of the church. Maybe some of us were here on that night. I saw it with my own eyes. And as God says this, the man gets a little towel thing. Puts it in front of her so no one can see. But the people beside her can see. The, the, the pastors could see. The, pe the worship people, the people that were behind this little blanket could see her stomach that was inflated. And I'm going to finalize with this testimony. And the preacher said, God is going to perform a surgery in you today. And believe it or not, her stomach began to move. Believe it or not, her stomach began to move around. And the preacher says, all the cancer that was supposed to be inside of you is going to be gone right now in the name of Jesus. And her stomach begins to move. And those around her are looking amazed and the stomach is moving. And God is performing a miracle. In the middle of the storm, there is a miracle. Because she's following Jesus. Maybe not physically, but spiritually, emotionally. He brought them 
closer and said, I am God. And said, men of little faith, why are you afraid? He's bringing them closer. He told Peter, come, come closer. And only after Peter arrived to Jesus, did Jesus calm that storm that day. Because we need to be with Jesus. And only after he works on us can he work on the situation. Only after he works on us can he work on the problem. God is speaking to someone in this church today. And he's saying, I've been working on you.